Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. The potential future of the Iraqi dinar, it's important to consider the role of the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, and its relationship with international financial institutions like the International Monetary Fund, IMF. The IMF plays a significant role in providing guidance and directives to countries, particularly those with developing economies or those undergoing significant economic transitions, such as Iraq. The cooperation between the CBI and the IMF is crucial for Iraq's economic stability and the potential appreciation of the Iraqi dinar. The IMF's guidance is based on a set of economic principles aimed at fostering stability, growth, and development. For Iraq, a country that has faced decades of economic challenges due to war, political instability, and fluctuating oil prices, following the IMF's recommendations is essential for building a more resilient economy. The IMF typically advises countries to implement sound fiscal and monetary policies, reduce inflation, stabilize the currency, and promote economic diversification. In Iraq's case, these recommendations are particularly relevant as the country seeks to move away from its heavy reliance on oil revenues and develop other sectors of its economy. The Central Bank of Iraq, as the primary institution responsible for the country's monetary policy, plays a key role in implementing these recommendations. By adopting the IMF's guidance, the CBI can take steps to stabilize the DINAR and create conditions for its gradual appreciation. This process involves several critical measures, including controlling inflation, managing the money supply, and maintaining a stable exchange rate. Additionally, the CBI needs to ensure that Iraq's banking sector is robust and capable of supporting economic growth. This includes improving financial infrastructure, enhancing regulatory frameworks, and encouraging transparency and accountability within the banking system. One of the key strategies the CBI could employ to achieve a gradual appreciation of the dinar is to promote economic growth. As the economy expands, driven by both oil and non-oil sectors, the demand for the dinar could increase leading to a gradual rise in its value. Economic growth would also help reduce Iraq's dependence on foreign currencies, particularly the US dollar, which currently plays a dominant role in Iraq's economy. By strengthening the dinar and reducing the need for dollar transactions, Iraq could achieve greater economic independence and stability. Another important aspect of the IMF's guidance is the emphasis on structural reforms. For Iraq, this means implementing policies that enhance the efficiency of public institutions, improve governance, and reduce corruption. These reforms are essential for creating a more favorable business environment, attracting foreign investment, and fostering long-term economic growth. If Iraq's economy becomes more diversified and resilient, the dinar is likely to appreciate in value, reflecting the country's improved economic fundamentals. In conclusion, the relationship between the Central Bank of Iraq and the IMF is crucial for the future of the Iraqi dinar. By following the IMF's guidance and implementing sound economic policies, the CBI can create the conditions for the dinar to appreciate gradually over time. This process requires a commitment to economic growth, structural reforms, and the development of a robust financial sector. While the path to a stronger dinar may be gradual and challenging, the potential rewards are significant, offering the prospect of greater economic stability and prosperity for Iraq in the long term.